A power pole goes up in flames during stormy weather in Ahwatukee, knocking out electricity to hundreds of customers. This happened in the area of 48th Street and Elliott. Fox 10's Stephanie Bennett is live now with the latest tonight. Stephanie. Yeah, it was pretty scary stuff. The pole caught fire, sending flames dangerously close to a couple of houses, and it was all caught on camera. Take a look. Literally, I've never seen uh, anything like it. It wasn't just a little fire. It, it was raging all the way to the top. Mm -hmm. So really, really crazy. It's an electrifying night for one Ahwatukee neighborhood after a utility pole went up in flames during a rainstorm. So <laughs> oh, I, uh, I was in my office, windows open, nice day, and I, I smell something. I'm like, what is that? So I'm like, like what is that smell? And burning something again. So yeah, we come out and this pole is completely engulfed in flames. Mm -hmm. I've never seen anything like it before. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and then the transformer blew, you know, 10 minutes into it. A couple of really big explosions. To the neighborhood's relief, fire crews were quick to respond, extinguishing the flames. The cause is still not determined, but neighbors say lightning was not the cause, but possibly a faulty wire that came loose from the wind and rainwater made it spark. We just go in and make sure that the power is still not connected and running through those lines. And then obviously we deal with the flames themselves on the pole. Almost 800 customers in the area lost power and internet while crews worked to get it restored. The Phoenix Fire Department says they can get busy during storms like these, mainly responding to downed power lines, car accidents from slick roads, and sometimes during flash floods, water rescues. For now, these neighbors are shocked it wasn't much worse. Well, this is the most activity I've seen on the street in 20 years. <laughs> Yeah, and the wind is now starting to pick back up again, and it is a good idea if you have any furniture or anything outside of your homes, even trash cans, good idea to bring those in during storms so they don't blow away. Also a good idea to keep your eye, an extra eye on those roads when it is rainy like this. Puddles can accumulate in those lower-lying areas, and it can be slick out there. Reporting live in Phoenix, Stephanie Bennett, Fox 10 News.